Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so, so, so excited to be doing this video for you guys. And this video, I do use the new TARDIS Pro palette. And I'm so excited, guys, because this palette is the bomb. I mean, it's tied between my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and this one. They are both so gorgeous. They are both so pigmented. This brand, this palette specifically, is so pigmented. And it's so buttery. It smells so good. If you haven't gotten this palette, I suggest you go buy it. Because you are going to be in love. I think I love it more than I love my husband. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, if you like to see how I cheat this pretty face right here, then continue to watch. Don't forget to subscribe. Click this red button, y'all. Let's be friends. Don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my Instagram. I would love to be your friend, guys. So please, please, please add me to my social media so that we can stay in touch. And all right, guys, without further ado, let's continue. To begin with, I'm going to be prepping my eyes using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Then I'm going to be taking Innocent with my Morphe 513 brush and I'm going to be applying that above my crease. Using the same brush, I'm going to be applying Mod right into the crease and I'm going to be blending that out. I'm going to try to focus it more on the outer crease and then working it into the crease. Be very careful guys because this eyeshadow is very pigmented so you want to dab off the rest of the shadow. Using my Morphe M160 brush, I'm applying Whimsy to draw where I want my crease to be. Since I do have slightly hooded lids, I will draw it a little bit above my own crease and then I'm going to begin to diffuse it by blending it out with a blending brush. Using the same angled brush, I am defining the crease with this purple shade called Drama. I start drawing the crease at the inner corner of my eye and I work my way to the outer corner. I then begin to buff it into the crease using my Morphe M513 brush. To deepen up my crease, I'm taking this nice black shade called Punk and then I'm going to buff it out using my Urban Decay dual ended pencil and blending brush you guys if you have not invested in this palette i suggest you go get one right now go to sephora.com and get it guys because i swear every time i open up this palette the smell of the eyeshadow remind me of pan dulce like all you really need is your coffee and mwah, awesome but i'm telling you these shades are beautiful guys Next, I'm applying this drop dead gorgeous shade called Trendy all over my lid using my Sigma E58 brush. This shade, guys, is thebomb.com. When applying this shade, I did use a little bit of Max Fix Plus to make this shade more metallic y, but on its own, it's good. Then I'm going to go ahead and take Glam and I'm going to pop that into the center of my eyelid just to make it look even better. With my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, I'm going to dip it into Classic and I'm going to use this nice bone shade to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm taking this felt tip eyeliner by Essence and I'm going to apply a wing. I did receive this eyeliner in my Ipsy Glam Bag. What I like about it is that it's waterproof, it does not smear, and it dries matte. To moisturize my face, I am taking this Nourishing Coconut Milk Facial Lotion with Hibiscus and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Guys, this lotion smells just like coconut. I did receive it in my Ipsy Glam Bag this month. To prime my face, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm going to put that onto my cheeks because that's where I do have most of my pores and of course my chin and my forehead. And as you can see, I'm so excited because I finally got got the Becca backlight primer I really really love this primer guys as you can see my face is already glowing I look beautiful just like the snapchat filter <laughs> I'm just kidding anyways I'm going to move on to my foundation I did get my hands onto the onto the uh, hourglass uh, vanishing uh, foundation stick this is in the shade golden tan I did get golden at first but it was too white for my skin but golden tan fits my skin tone perfectly to blend out my foundation I am taking my morphe g6 brush which is a flat kabuki brush and I'm going to blend it out uh, most people did recommend to blend out with a brush but if you would like to use a beauty blender then by all means go ahead I'm also going to blend my foundation into my neck just so that way I'm 
my neck and my face match. Using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to conceal and highlight the areas under my eyes and I'm going to be buffing that out with my Morphe G2 brush. And guys, I have to agree with Patrick Starr. This brush is like a beauty blender on a stick. It blends everything out so good. I'm also going to highlight my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Using my Morphe G7 powder brush, I'm taking the Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade Golden Beige and I'm going to use this to set my foundation. Using my setting brush by Real Techniques, I'm taking Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to use that to set my concealer. Using my Morphe 530 brush, I'm going to take Blunt and I'm going to use that to bronze and contour my face. I'm going to apply that all over my hairline to my jawbone and under my chin so I can get rid of that double chin. Because who wants to have a double chin on camera, huh? I know I don't. Using my Luxie 522 brush, I'm taking Sunburst and Bubble Leaf from the ABH Glow Kick Palette. I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. Using my Morphe 530 brush, I'm going to be taking Floor Power, which is a Max Cosmetics blush, and I'm going to apply that onto my cheeks. Then I'm going to take some translucent powder, and I'm going to clean up that contour slash bronzer then I'm going to take a little bit of more blunt and I'm going to snatch my nose and I'm going to be blending it out with a BH Cosmetics blending brush now that I'm done baking I'm taking this face brush that I received in my Ipsy glam bag to dust off the extra translucent powder I'm then taking whimsy and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line next I'm applying some mod as well using an angled brush and finally, to create a smoky effect, I'm taking Punk and I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line using a small angled brush. I am then taking my Marc Jacobs eyeliner to tie line my lower and upper waterline. And to complete this look, I'm taking my Makeup Forever mascara and I'm going to coat my lower lashes. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm dusting off the excess translucent powder on my face. As you can see, my bronzing looks so much better than before. It looks sharper and cleaner. For my lips, I'm taking this maroon lip liner by Jordana in the color Cabernet. I'm going to use it to align my lips. I'm then going to apply my ColourPop liquid lipstick in the shade Tool. Doesn't the shade look so beautiful? I like that it dries matte and it doesn't budge. It does stay on for a long time. To lock in this look, I'm spraying my entire face with Max Fix Plus and bam, this is a completed look. I really hope you liked this video guys. Please like and share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my social media. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.